Hello, it's Finn Jelly here. Welcome to the studio. And today I'm going to be doing a watercolour commission of a lurcher. And in this case, it's a Bedlington Whippet Cross. So I spent quite a long time on the drawing, working out the size and the overall uh, position that I wanted to uh, get the character of the dog across as best I could from the photograph that I had. Um, the dog had passed away quite recently, sadly, and so um, luckily, I was given some quite nice photographs to work from. Um, that's not always the case when you're doing commissions. Sometimes you've got to work from very difficult photographs, but these were very really good. And uh, I was able to get a, a, a very good impression of what she was like. And um, so having drawn it out carefully, and you can see I've also printed out some photographs there in the um, bit of video and the drawings on the table there. And I transferred it by tracing method um, and I do that quite often with these drawings, as you may have seen before, uh, so that I hammer out the drawing problems on the drawing paper, there's the drawing, and then I can transfer it direct to the watercolour paper, and it saves rubbing out on the watercolour paper, which will damage the surface. So I start with quite a few cobalt blue washes to establish some of the tones in the form of the um, dog's head, and then working over that, <clears throat> the blue tends to disappear but just show through in places to give a cool feel, uh, which helps the warmer tones of the fur uh, to come through and be a bit more vibrant as a contrast. It helps with to enhance the colours and especially on areas of dark, like the tip of the nose, you've got a slightly bluish tinge and some of those lights, there are slightly blue tinges showing through, which um, indicates the blue light reflected from the sky. Now in the photograph that I'm working from, the sky was very blue, but I don't want to take it to that level because I thought it was quite dominant. And this is really a portrait of a beloved pet. So I want to emphasize the dog herself and particularly her face. So I'm keeping the body quite free, um, quite expressive, but the face is much more detailed and there's a lot of hair and a lot of characterful expression there. And I think it's very important in a portrait um, of a dog or a human to try and capture the essence of that individual character. Um, obviously the owner will know the character intimately and I don't, uh, I mean, just photographs to work from, but experience teaches you a certain amount of how to approach these things and what might be stronger characteristics that shine through and so you look for those elements and try and work with them as best you can and, and it, there's an element of hope for the best so um, there's always that bit of risk when working on a portrait uh, with sentimental value um, so I keep the background very simple and just suggest sky with just a few washes of cobalt teal and um, cobalt blue uh, which also relate to that those blue reflections and those early blue underpaintings. Um, so I hope you like the video and I'd like, please like and love, subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. It doesn't commit you to anything really. It just helps you to see if any of my other videos come up and it promotes the channel and means that more people will get to see it. So the more people that subscribe, uh, it's better for the channel. So. Here I am working uh, on with a bit of Caran d'Ache pencil crayon as well, just to put some of those highlights in and some of the final details of the painting. And then there's the final result. And I've put my name stamp on there and here it is framed up and ready to go. Um, so hope you enjoyed it.